Hello Internet World, welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Philips Screenio U4. It's an ultra short throw projector, very kindly sent in to me free of charge by the manufacturer. No money's changed hands, they haven't asked me to say anything in particular. I'm just going to share with you my opinion of using this over the past couple of weeks so you can make an informed buying decision. So let's get on with the unboxing. So this is the Philips Screenio U4, it's an ultra short throw projector. True full HD with HDR10 support, dual Bluetooth as well. That allows you to connect, I believe, stereo Bluetooth speakers. Auto focus and keystone correction. It's recommended to be used in a dark room and up to a maximum of 80 inches screen size. Let's take a look around on the side. It's got all of the main features listed here. Four times LED, 80 inch screen size, 1080p, true cinema color, Rec 709. HDR10, 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, autofocus, auto keystone, four corner correction, digital zoom, stereo speakers, 2.1 sound as well, two times HDMI, dual Bluetooth, USB-A power and media, and an auxiliary output as well. And if we take a look round on the back here, we've got some of the main features detailed again. So it says position just nine inches or 23 centimeters away from a wall, the ultra, ultra short throw projector Screenio U4 delivers a true full HD image with HDR10 up to 80 inches and can, can connect up to two spares of speakers or earphones thanks to the dual Bluetooth. So you could use this for connecting two speakers or if you want to watch pri privately without sort of disturbing your neighbors and there's two of you, you can connect two pairs of Bluetooth headphones. That's really cool. Got some pictures on the side here as well. This is about the distance. So minimum distance, 7.7 .7 inches or 19 centimeters. Uh, and then we've got something that says 12 inches or 30 centimeters gives you an 80 inch screen. And then just some other features listed off here. So let's get this unboxed. So it slides out like so. And then we have got some inner boxes. Oh no, this is just some protective cardboard. Then we've got the projector itself, which looks really nice. Let's just bring this out. Whoa, it's got some weight to it. It's like a, a soft touch finish. There is a protective film across here to protect where the uh, sort of lens is, because it's gonna project via mirrors, I would assume, onto the screen, because it's gonna go quite close to the screen. Then we've got some speakers, obviously, in these portions here. We've also got an infrared receiver just here, HDMI on this side, and then round on the back, we've got some extra ports. Ah, so here we've got the DC input just here, headphones, USB, a second HDMI, and then we've got the two Bluetooth connectivity buttons. And if we look on the bottom here, we've got some rubberized feet and a threaded mount. So you can mount this on a little stand. So very nice unit. Now, in addition to the unit itself, we have got a quick start guide. It's gonna guide us through all of the box contents, how to get things connected, and how to get around the UI and set things up. So a nice full color illustrated uh, user manual there. And then down in the bottom of the box, we've got yet more contents. So we have got, let's take a look in this middle one first, an HDMI cable supplied inside the box. We've also got a power cable. And I assume because this is a short throw projector, it's a short power cable. Hmm. But we have got an additional power brick as well. But this is just a UK three pin to figure eight power cable. Now, if you're buying this in another country, you should get other cables inside the box. It looks like they're all included actually in the one box. So we've got a European power adapter, cable, sorry, power cable. We've also got a USA two pin flat blade uh, power cable as well. We've got some extra feet. That's nice to see. So a spare set of feet. And then we've got a multi-voltage power adapter. So we use this with those power cables. So the power cable goes in here. This is a multi-voltage adapter, LED light on the front there, and a barrel type connector to go into the projector itself. And then last but not least, we have got a remote control. This is a really nice looking remote. And we also, just in the bottom of the box there, have got some batteries. So it runs off of two AAA batteries. 
So that is pretty much the box contents of the Screenio U4. Really, it looks like an impressive device. If you're after a short throw projector, this is well worth checking out. Now, please do subscribe to the channel. If you want to see my review of this and see it in action, you need to subscribe so you don't miss out on that future video. And if you want to purchase one of these for yourself, please do check out the links down in the video description. I'll see you all in another video very, very soon.